Hello and welcome to the Jail Games Combat Arena Championship Season 2, where we have 8 more robots fighting in a brand new arena, hoping to be the champion. This series we have some changes to our house robot roster, I've decided to keep Shunt and Matilda in for this series as well, and of course we got the Red Baron. However, Weapon of Choice has now changed his weapon to an axe, because we have a new house robot. Everyone please welcome Igor as our new house robot. As you may know, Igor is my real life beetleweight. Here he is in heavyweight form, hoping to dish out all the carnage that we want to see. Last year, Ripper was our champion, and he's back again in our first battle against Titan. And the house robot this time, for his debut, is Igor. Okay, here we go, the first battle of the season. And already Titan goes flying as Igor stares on, watching as the, the champion Ripper gets straight into it. Titan stuck on the on the spikes and I think that's going to be it. I think that is it for Titan. Well, I didn't expect it to end that quickly, but it looks like that's it. Titan, I think, did a lot better in the last series, but look at Igor flying around now. Ripper has got a point to prove, for sure. Goodness me, Igor must be furious. This is his first outing and this is what he gets? Well, we're not going to have any of that. I think he wants Ripper down the pit. Will he get him? I don't think so, but we'll see. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Yes. No. <laughs> so close. Goodness me. Igor's forks can easily get underneath Ripper, it seems. I think Ripper's now a little stunned at this display from the house robot. He's on the ropes. No. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, Ripper has definitely come back with a vengeance. Cease. Well, the champion has returned and he is certainly up to full strength. Titan crashes out. Next up, we have Great Pumpkin against Splinter. And the house robot this time is the Red Baron. Okay, here we go. The boggle-eyed loon that is the Red Baron watches on. A splinter goes mad against Great Pumpkin, which I think is our first flamethrower bot, possibly. I can't remember. But it's not looking good. <laughs> splinter doing all the damage. I don't think the pumpkin knows what's hit it. Oh, but it, <laughs> it did quite a good attack on the Red Baron, though. Who's boggling his eyes furiously. As Splinter now goes into the CPZ, where, of course, the Red Baron can attack. But it looks like he's being attacked by them both. This is not what we want to see. Well, actually it is. Let's be honest. We want to see the house robots get trashed. It looks like he almost fitted through the through the fence. They're both ganging up on him. What is going on here? Goodness me. Well, I don't know quite what to say. I'm trying to put him out of commission permanently, I think. He's run away. Did you see how close the Great Pumpkin nearly got to the pit. I think the Red Baron has had enough. He's, he's wandering off. <laughs> yeah, I think he knows when he's been beaten. Now the Great Pumpkin seems to be taking over. Pushing Splinter into the wall and... Well, I would say he's uh, using his flamethrower to great advantage, but he's just stopped. <laughs> and Splinter's now on his back. He's being pushed towards the pit. What an upset. The Great Pumpkin goes in the pit as well. But, he is the winner of this fight. Unbelievable. Splinter doing all the work and ending up in the pit. The Red Baron, he needs to take some headache pills. Cease. Well, that is probably the biggest upset I've seen in quite a while. Great Pumpkin, really not very effective until the last minute and pushed Splinter straight into the pit. Unbelievable victory. Splinter crashes out. 
Next up, we have Seros against Rybot, two of my favourite looking machines. And the house robot this time is Shunt. Okay, here we go. And Seros getting the first flip in, but now Rybot doing uh, quite a good job of pushing it around. Very unusual flipper design. Looks like Rybot has the lower front end. Pushing Seros towards the wall and now towards the pit. Come on. It's so close now. Yes, there we go. Oh, and Rybot. We've got some drunk drivers this year. <laughs> Well, there we go. Rybot is the winner. Cease. Well, that was quite an even battle. I think Rybot definitely had more control and obviously flipped Seros into the pit. I think the pit is going to be quite a deciding factor in this arena. Next up, we have got Tomahawk against Bulldog Breed. And the house robot this time is Weapon of Choice. Okay, here we go, weapon of choice with his new axe weapon. Looking on as Tomahawk and uh, Bulldog Breed once again heading towards the pit and again! A weapon. Unbelievable how quick that was. And Bulldog Breed has also gone into the pit as well. Well, it's a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Everyone seems to drive into the pit. Well, there we go. Uh, you can have a look at weapon of choice's new weapon. Um, <laughs> he didn't get to use it. Well, these battles are just getting quicker and quicker. Tomahawk didn't stand a chance. Bulldog Breed going through. Right now, we're going to take a break from the main competition and go into our Featherweight Tag Team competition. Each episode is going to have a Featherweight Tag Team battle where the final will be in the final of the Heavyweight competition. So first up, we have... Hatchet and Little Hitter against Decimator and Clank 3. Combat zone. Three. Okay, here we go. Decimator getting a good hit in on Little Hitter. Clank 3 coming in with a surprise attack. Fantastic flip. But it now is on its back and it's not doing very good. Uh, Hatchet causing a lot of problems. Oh, goodness me, Decimator's Blade has come off. I didn't even see that. Also, it looks like a lot of internal parts just flew out of Little Hitter. That's really strange. But, yeah, without a spinner, what can Decimator do? Little Hitter seems to be in trouble. Clank 3 seems stuck. Well, what's going to happen here? Clank 3 needs to really back his teammate up now. Decimator is useless without the weapon. That came off surprisingly quickly. Clank 3 getting a flip in. Little hitter on his back. But now Clank 3 is stuck again on his back. Why is he not using the flipper to self right? Now he is. That's good. Flipping his own teammate though. Why are you doing that? You need to get Hatchet and Little Hitter. This is not going well for Decimator and Clank. That's a nice metal on metal sound there as Hatchet threw its hatchet down on Clank 3. Decimator's trying its best to push Little Hitter around, but it's not doing much. Well, so far I'd say this is definitely the two axe boxes, uh, the two axe box uh, fight. Definitely. Clank 3 looks immobilized, but once again, Hatchet going for the kill. But Decimator, look at this! Putting on a little show of power here. Pushing little hitter to one side into the CPZ. There's no house robots to help you. The amount of damage that uh, Hatchet is doing to Clank is unbelievable. The two robots there are almost counted out. Oh, this is painful to watch. Poor Clank. Hatchet burying the Hatchet, literally. Oh, getting inside there as well. Little Hitter still trying to immobilise um, 
decimated, it's not doing a very good job. Just dancing around each other at the moment. Really, this is definitely Hatchet's fight. It's doing so much damage, so much aggression. And now once again, Decimator has got stuck underneath Little Hitter. They're both just sitting there. We're coming down to the last 10 seconds now of this fight. And I've got to say, Hatchet is a robot to watch. Definitely. And that is it. Cease. Hatchet and Little Hitter, they go through. Okay, back to the main competition where we have Ripper against Bulldog Breed. And the house robot this time is Matilda. The pink flywheel of Matilda gets ready to receive some robots, but it looks like Bulldog Breed has got the jump on Ripper. Ripper now getting away. But only momentarily. Still getting flipped up. Oh, here we go. That's the power we like to see from the champion. Ripper flipping out Bulldog Breed. There we go. What a fantastic win for the champion. Reigning champion. Now Matilda can have her say. It's not going to last very long, I don't think. Probably one of the least effective house robots that we have in our roster. Except all the ones I made. <laughs> How could I be so cruel? We all love Matilda. I was only joking, Tildy. Get rid of this uh, this champion. Who dares attack you? If you have dare you attack Matilda, sir. Come on, Matilda, you can do it. It's in your CPZ. Get him. Oh no, it looks like she's got a plan. She's gonna try and swing round and get him. Oh that's a, that was a good tactic. She knows all the tricks. Oh, but the trouble is Ripper's got such a powerful flipper on it. Goodness me, as soon as I said that, Matilda with the flip into the pit. Matilda proving she's still got it. Well, another win for the champion Ripper. Who can stop it? Well, we'll have to see. But first up, we have got the Great Pumpkin against Rybot. And the house robot this time is the Red Baron. Boggle-eyed loon is back to watch on as the Great Pumpkin tries to beat Ribot. I think this might be a bit more of a challenge than its previous fight, but perhaps not. Oh, no, it was. Why are you still chasing after it? I never get a good fight now. <laughs> they all go into the pit, <laughs> but never mind. We have another robot going through to face Ripper. It's Rybot. So there we go, the Great Pumpkin finally crashes out the competition, Rybot going through to face Ripper. But before we have the final fight, let's have a little rumble. I'll drive my weapon of choice against Manta and Bayamoth. Okay, here we go. Manta going for Bayamoth first, getting underneath, and underneath Manta as well rode on top of him. Weapon of Choice of course has amazing drive power shoving Bayamoth straight into the pit. So now it's just Manta to deal with. That is a good performance but no! Weapon of Choice goes in first so the, the winner of that battle is Manta. Okay it's time for the final fight. Let's see who goes through to the grand final. Will it be Rybot? or our previous champions, Ripper. There's only one way to find out. The house robot this time is Igor. Okay, here we go. Rybot getting underneath the champion. Is he gonna go in the pit? He's gone. The champion has gone. Rybot got underneath and that was it. Unbelievable. 
Well, how about that? I can't quite believe that. We didn't need a house robot this time. Goodness me. The champion has gone. We will have a new champion. Well, what an upset. Ripper crashes out. Rybot going through to the grand final. Possibly the favourite now for the series now they've knocked out Ripper. Tune in next time where we'll have eight more robots hoping to earn a place. Until then, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.